Hello everybody, it is FX Starters Gaming HD here, and today I'm just going to be showing you how to make a snazzy looking background thingy, and I'll put the thingy here so you can see it now, and it's gone. So what you first want to do is, you want to get your, um, it's basically you can use a desktop background or anything, I'm just going to show you how to make it as a desktop background, so what you want to do is you want to go up here, go to output, and you find out what your desktop background is, you can do this by right clicking go to uh, property screen resolution and you should be able to find that well it's 1366 by 768 it's a laptop screen so it's not that big and we, we, I'll just save it wherever I want but yeah I'm, I, I kind of like to save it as JPEG hi you can save whatever you want by clicking on there but I'm not going to So. What you want to do first, you go to my graph, my text, and you go to whatever, whatever text you want. I'm going to do this, and you can use whatever font you want. The font I'm going to use is going to be SF Automaton, it's a nice font I like to use. It doesn't really matter about what size it is or this, you can make whatever you like. I'm just going to use this. The link for it will be in the description, so gonna line it to the middle right, it's quite a nice angle there right so what you want to do is you want to make the, the depth about 100 you can do it by simply clicking there and push your mouse up and down or you can just type it in and now what you want to do is you want to go to control C control V and it creates a duplicate so you want to call this one back smash Ooh, and you want to call this one normal. Ooh. So now what you want to do is you want to go to this little kind of blue kind of bar thing, and you want to go to explosion effects. And you want to drag the black splash over the explosion effects. No, you don't. I actually complete the wrong thing. No. Alright, you want to do this? Oh good, no. Alright, so well. So you want to drag that onto the back smash. As you see here, it gives us a nice little kind of explosion thing you can move it about to whatever you want up down like that you can keyframe it right and then you can have it so it goes across but I'm just going to show you how to make a nice little effect then you can change the strength of the explosion up here so it gets like wider but I'm not going to do that I think I'm just going to leave it there Just going to bring the strength down a bit so I get more of the particles in. Yeah, so um, now we want to make it look a bit nicer. So we're going to go to material and yeah, find the material even. And I'm going to go for a green color. So I'm going to create this kind of a light green. And we're going to go to that. We're going to take that. and we're going to reflection. I'm going to go for a nice green and we'll bring the brightness down a bit yeah uh you want to go to fresnel double click that and you can change all the colors here so let's go for a nice kind of limey green there yep that's pretty good whoops I'm going to have I'm going to put the reflection off a bit, that's it. Now you want to go specular colour and make it just a little black. It won't do much of a fair bit, it'll be, look better on the outcome of the thing. So we're going to just drag that over there. I'm going to drag that over here. And one thing you want to do is you want to go to the back smash and you want to see this little blue one, you want to pull it back just a tiny bit. So there you go, so that you don't have it overlapping this one. So if we just click this, let it render out. That's what you got so far. You can get different angles of it. But you're thinking, hmm, this is, is alright, it's not fantastic though. So, wait, I'm just going to drag this up here. That's, that's better, because you had the black voice in there, I don't know. Alright, all right, let's just show for a second. Alright. Now, what we want to do is you can get light. 
and I want to have the light selected. And while you drag it over, it will have light effect, can't for it. So if you see there, it goes bright, and if I put it away, it gets darker. But now, what you want to do is you want to have it. You want to get. God, this is not going well for me today. There you go, because you generally want to go color. I'm gonna make it a nice light green. Actually, I'm going to go into here and do it. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's see what that's like. Nope. Yeah, it's kind of nice. You can you can change this about. You can add more lights and stuff. So yeah, and um, now what you want to do is you want to go to background, and you can create whatever kind of background you want. So just we can create a white gradient background, just a simple white gradient. Let's go to texture gradient. Or you could change the type of gradient. You can have it like a cylindrical a box. Whatever you want, I am might have to go with the four corner. And so I will drag this over to the background. And there you go, you have that kind of effect. So you just want to render it out, and it should come up, something like that. So guys, it's been FX Terrors. Remember to rate, like, and comment the video. And please subscribe, because I want to, I want to spam your sub boxes. I'll just have nice helpful tutorials. So guys, remember, um, this is how you create the awesomeness that is this. And you can mess about with this stuff. So guys, um, anyway, this is FX Terrors, signing out.